Welcome to Boofwang Academy. I am your host, Randolfo Cafe, and I have been an undocumented radio operator for over 40 years. In this lesson, I am going to enlighten you on how to use your Boofwang UV5R or similar radio to listen to a NOAA weather channel. As the proud owner of a Boofwang UV5R, you may not be aware that your radio is capable of receiving all seven of the NOAA weather channels. This is just one of the many features of this radio that makes it one of the best radios that you can buy. However, it is important to note that although the radio can receive the NOAA weather channels, the Boofwang UV5R, as well as many similar radios, does not not receive NOAA weather alerts. If you want NOAA weather alerts, which is like an alarm that will sound when severe weather or dangerous weather is approaching, you will need to buy a better radio. So to enjoy your tax-funded U.S. government weather reports and warnings on your Boofwang UV5R or similar radio, just follow these simple steps. First of all, you will need to find the weather frequencies for your Pacific area where you live. There are seven different frequencies that the NOAA weather channels transmit on, but in most areas there will only be one, maybe two, that is actually close enough for you to receive. So to find the correct frequency, open up your porn viewing app and go to the weather.gov website. For your clicking convenience, I have put a link directly to that web page in the information section of this video for you to click directly on. Once there, simply find the frequency located nearest to where you are. Once you find the frequency listing for your Pacific area, just write it down. For my example, I will be using the Santa Ana, California station, which is about 40 miles from me, and it is on frequency 162.450, my gigahertz. To get that frequency into your radio, first of all, make sure that your radio is powered on. Next, put the radio into VFO mode. This is the mode that allows you to type frequencies directly in on the radio. There are two modes on this radio. VFO mode is for typing frequencies directly in and channel or memory mode for going through the frequencies that you have pre-saved as channel numbers so that you can easily scroll through them. And to switch between these two modes, you simply press the VFO MR button. For those of you that are new to the exciting and dynamic world of radios, MR means memory. You can tell which mode you're in by looking at the screen. In channel or memory mode, you will see small channel numbers on the right. However, in VFO mode, you will see no channels on the right. Or if you have the sexy Chinese voice lady option enabled, she will tell you what mode you're in each time you mash on the VFO MR button, thusly. Channel mode. Frequency mode. You may also notice that the screen displays two distinct lines. Us radio experts refer to these two lines as line A and line B. And this is because if the option is enabled, this radio will allow you to listen to two different frequencies at the same time. However, even if you have the listen to two channels at the same time option disabled, you will still see two lines. This radio and many similar radios always display two lines. You cannot make a display only one line. For that, you will need to buy a better radio. And because this radio always displays two lines, as previously mentioned, you must decide if you want your NOAA weather channel to show up on the top line, also known as line A, or the bottom line, also known as line B. It matters not which one you choose, this choice is entirely up to you. Once you decide if you want to put your NOAA weather frequency on the top line or the bottom line, simply squish the AB button to select that line. You will notice that each time you crush the AB button, the little selection icon thingy moves from line A to line B, thusly. 
indicating which line you are on and which line the radio is ready for you to change or input. For this demonstration, I have chosen line A because why not? The next step is to type in the frequency that you wrote down earlier. In my case, 162450, my gigahertz. If when you try to type in the frequency, the radio just beeps at you, and nothing on the screen changes, this means that either you are doing it wrong or the keypad is locked. If the keypad is locked, you will see a tiny locked icon showing in the upper right of the screen, right next to the battery icon. So to unlock the keypad, simply mash and hold the unlock button, which is indicated by the little blue unlock picture on this button. This button is also sometimes referred to as the hashtag button. Simply press and hold. Unlock. And the radio is now unlocked and ready and willing and waiting for you to type something in. As I mentioned only a moment ago, you now simply type in the frequency that you wrote down earlier. After that, there is no after that. You are done. The radio is now receiving the frequency that you typed in. And if you wrote it down correctly, and then if you typed it in correctly, and if you are close enough to receive the station, you will hear whatever it is that they are transmitting. The frequency that you entered will stay there, even if you turn the radio off, and then back on, and even if you switch to channel mode, and back. Indeed, the frequency will remain there until you type in something else whilst in VFO mode. And to prevent that from happening accidentally, you can optionally lock the keypad by compressing and holding down the hashtag button, resulting in the locked icon showing again. You can also save this frequency as a channel so that you can quickly and easily switch to other pre-saved frequencies or channels and then come back to this one quickly and easily. To do that, be sure to watch my video on how to do that. And one final note, if you squash the talk trigger whilst listening on some Bufuang UV5R and similar radios, but not all, but on some, if you do that, the radio will transmit on that frequency. So don't do that, because doing that would make the FCCs very, very sad. However, it won't really do anything because your little handheld radio and its dinky little antenna is not going to overpower the 1000 watt NOAA transmission station with a 100 foot antenna at the top of a mountain. So don't bother. Congratulations. You can now listen to a NOAA weather channel on your Boofwang UV5R or similar radio to celebrate. Be sure to go outside and get some fresh air and sunshine. <laughs>